So we have an update on Mr. Peter Mon. He's put out a statement himself, which is awesome news. I haven't been able to get him out of my mind. And the longer no one said anything, the longer I started thinking, oh, this is really, really, really bad. It's still bad. He's still got a long road ahead, but he's alive. He's lucid. I understand a lot of you don't have Twitter, as Peter calls the Twitter. So I'm going to put these tweets up that he put out. It, they're his statement. I'm going to put some nice music behind it because you don't need me to read it for you. I'm sure you can all read. And um, I'll be back after that. Okay? Blackbird singing the dead of night Take these broken wings and learn to fly All your life Waiting for this moment to arise Blackbird singing the dead of night Take these sunken eyes and learn to see All your life You were only waiting for this moment to be free Black night Black bird fly Black bird fly Into the light of the dark Black night. Yep, hugs all round. Remember, we don't own tomorrow and it is never promised. I'm sure Peter is across all of that. And be grateful for today. That was a great statement, very well written. We know his mind is still with us. We know his heart is still with us. But he's got a lot to go through. He has an enormous physical and mental uh, marathon. It's going to be a marathon. It's not a short race. And, you know, he can do what he wants, basically. He's touched and helped so many people. Like, as I said, he was the first YouTube channel I ever watched. And I'm not a youngster. I'm, I'm getting closer to Peter's range of, of age. And I always felt like my son would always say, oh, what are you doing watching YouTube? And I say, excuse me, <laughs> I'm watching Dad AF. That's right. And he is a YouTuber and he's a silver fox and he's talking about all the drama that I love so I can watch him. And that's why he was my first. I mean, I made that video. I've, I've never had that many views ever on a video that I've made, which just goes to prove that he is a very loved man. And I, I want him to know, and he'll probably never watch my videos, but the, someone needs to let him know close. Like, don't, don't feel guilt. Don't feel anything about karma or guilt because you were just talking about the drama community. You weren't being a weirdo and just making stuff up like <laughs> a lot of them do, Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star. You are an honest cat, but the thing is, you got to do you, boo, and everyone's going to be behind whatever you do. Just know, you're not alone. You've got thousands upon thousands of people loving and supporting you and hoping one day you'll come back and be dad AF. <laughs> Beast! I know Peter will come back because he loves to talk. I'll tell you that for free. He is a chatterbox from Chatterbox World, just like myself, actually. I think he may out-talk me. Anyway, I know he's going to come back one day, so don't freak out. And I know a lot of people are worried about, you know, him being on painkillers and his addiction issues and all of that. But remember, he was only in his early 20s when he went to rehab and he has been sober for, is it 24 years? Something like that. Um, he's not going to go back there because one, he's an old, wise silver fox now. And two, he's got so many people around him to call him out and support him. Yeah, he's going to have some real, real dark times. 
but he ain't gonna go back there. I'll tell you that for free. That is not gonna happen because he is way too wise and aware. My mum always says, and I know people hate to hear this, but she always says it to me because I've been I've been through some really bad stuff, um, physically as well, not just mentally. I mean, I had a heart attack at 25, but my mum always says the universe or God or who, whatever you believe in only throws things at you that you can handle. So Peter, you must be one strong, funky cat to have this much thrown at you. So kudos to you, and we'll be waiting to hear your lovely voice again and your annoying intro. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I love you, Peter. Love you, Alex. Sending love and light from Australia once again. Sending you heaps and heaps and heaps of roses, man. Because I know you love the garden, so remember, whenever you're down, I used to do this myself, go out, sniff the roses, and it just snaps you out of your darkness because you smell something really pretty. My point is, go smell the roses, everybody. It snaps you out of most things. Love you guys. I'll see you next time. P.S. Sorry about the crow in the background. I did send a memo out to the birds today and said I'll be recording, but that crow obviously didn't get it, so he's very sorry, and I'm not going to re-record it, so boom! Birds flying high you know how I feel Sun in the sky You know how I feel Breeze drifting on by You know how I feel It's a new dawn It's a new day It's a new life For me and I'm feeling good